Please keep this paper handy so you can follow along as we refer to it. Some time back, I read a, an article written by a secular reporter regarding a church he had attended. Among other things, the reporter wrote these words. He said, People come to this church that he went to not to shrink in insignificance before a power greater than them. They come instead to share with God their stories of their growth and their empowerment. In other words, what he's saying is that the people go to that church to tell God all the good things they've done. Now, after reading this article, I realized two things about that church. Number one, they didn't understand the character and the holiness of God. Number two, they didn't understand how God should be approached and how he should be worshipped. Now there are many scriptures that speak to both of these issues. But I'd like to focus on just two this morning. Isaiah 6, 1 to 5, and Revelation 4, 8 to 11. Because I believe we can learn from these scriptures how we should approach our God and how we should worship Him. So to begin, let's look first at Isaiah 6. In these verses, the prophet reveals to us what he saw when he was given a glimpse into heaven. So, with a spirit of humility and a spirit of reverence, let's together examine the great sight with Isaiah. Notice verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. That was a magnificent sight. God upon his throne. His throne, God's throne, high, lifted up above all the competition. Not only surpassing all other thrones, 
but ruling over all other thrones and commanding them. Don't you think that would be a magnificent sight? Now, I should be careful to say that Isaiah did not see Jehovah, the sum and substance of God. No man has seen him, no man can see him. No, John tells us clearly in his gospel that who Isaiah saw was the Son of God in heaven before he came to earth. Now, incidentally, that means that when Christ returned to heaven and sat down at the right hand of the Father after his resurrection, he was returning to where he had been sitting before. Jesus sits on a throne, a throne of glory before which we must all worship. But remember, it's also a throne of grace to which we are invited to come boldly and obtain mercy. The picture continues in verses one, uh, 2 and 3. Above it, that is above the throne, stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. So these seraphim, these heavenly beings, attended his throne and celebrated his glory. There they were, all around his throne, kind of hovering above it and bowing before it. <coughs> Holy angels. Worshipping God. Isn't this a magnificent sight? God on his throne with angels around him worshiping him. <coughs> Take special notice of their wings and how they use them. They each had six wings. Two were used as a covering for their faces. And with the two lowest wings, they covered their feet. All of this speaks of the humility and the reverence that they attended God. They not only covered their feet, 
those members of the body that the first Corinthians tell us are less honorable, but they also even covered their faces. <laughs> 第一コリントの中で言われているように足は、えー、体の中でも高い地にはないのですが天使たちはその足だけではなく顔さえも翼で覆っていたのです。なお、if angels are so reverent in the presence of God, how should we then approach his throne or come into his presence? もしも天の御使いたちが神様の御前でそのように敬虔な態度でいるとしたら、私たち人間は神様の王座にどのような態度を持って近づくべきでしょう。私たち人間も、天使たちとも少なくとも同じような尊敬と敬虔さを示す必要があるのではないでしょうか。Then, Verse 2 also says they use two of their wings for flight. Reminds me of the time in the book of Daniel when an angel was sent out on a mission for God. The angel flew to the presence of Daniel. Then, as you look further in verse 3, you see the angels singing a great praise song. And as they sang, they sang with great zeal and great passion. That's why I had you repeat the chorus this morning. <laughs> you can't sing, let's just praise the Lord. No! Show the same zeal and passion that the angels did. Now notice how they sang. They cried aloud, singing alternately to one another, but in concert. And what was the song? Ah, it was the same song that's sung at the end of the age by the four living creatures in Revelation 4.8. You see, praising God always was and always will be. In eternity, the work of heaven. Now, did I say work in heaven? Yes! You're going to have to work in heaven. Oh. You thought you were done with that. <laughs> no, we're all going to be employed as singers. <laughs> Note the two things that the seraphim give God praise for. First, they praise him for his infinite perfection and holiness. 第一に神様の無限の完璧性と聖なる聖性を賛美しております。Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, they sing. 聖なる聖なる聖なる万軍の主と歌っております。Now, Lord of hosts is one of God's most glorious titles. 万軍の使徒はイエス様の最も偉大な栄光のタイトルの一つです。It means he's the Lord of the armies of angels. その意味は、天使の軍団の主がイエス様であるということです。And they sing of one of his most glorious attributes, his holiness. 
イエス様の最も栄光あるご性質のもう一つは聖なるお方であるということです。Now, maybe, I, I think maybe as the angels sing, they look for words to express themselves. I don't know. But in their zeal and their passion, they can only say over and over again Holy, holy, holy. Yeah. しかし天使たちの熱情とパッションがあまりにも強いので繰り返し繰り返し同じ言葉を歌っていたのかもしれません。聖なる聖なる聖なるかなと。You didn't sing. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>赤谷さんは今朝、天使だった。<笑> And I say, holy, holy, holy. <笑> you just sing it back to me.、Yeah. That's what the angels did. <笑> One would sing to another, holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> yes, they would sing back and forth. <laughs> and then notice in the last part of verse 3, notice the song included the statement that the whole earth is full of his glory. Now, they were singing of the, his glory of his power and purity. Now, the Jews, they thought that the glory of God should be confined to their land, Israel. But here it is suggested that the glory of God would fill all of the earth. Now, verses 4 and 5 tell us what happened next in this great drama. It says, And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I, that is Isaiah, said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes, Have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. イザヤ書の4節と5節です。この呼び交わす声によって、神殿の入り口の敷居は揺れ動き、神殿は煙に満たされた。私は言った。災いだ。私は滅ぼされる。私は汚れた唇の者、汚れた唇の民の間に住む者。しかも私の目は主、王なる万軍の主を仰ぎ見た。First, the whole house was shaken. Not only the door was shaken, but the posts of the door were shaking. They moved, but not because of an earthquake. They moved because of the voice of God who called out. 地震で揺れ動いたのではなく神様の声によって揺れ動いたのです。Awesome、なんという驚くべき体験でしょう。You the voice of God forth with such that it would shake the house like an earthquake? 神殿がまるで地震にあったように揺れ動くような神様の,の力強さというものを想像してみてください。What an awesome、驚くべき体験です
You know, our natural curiosity would make us want to know more about these angels and their songs and their worship services. But since Isaiah tells us no more, let's turn to the book of Revelation. There in the fourth chapter, we see that John has just described all the sights that he saw in heaven. その they were. But that's a study for another day. For now we want to just look at verses 8 through 11. And in those verses we witness the songs that John heard there in heaven. He heard the songs of the four living creatures. These are the same ministering angels referred to in the prophet Isaiah's vision. Adoring the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and who is to come. Then finally, John saw and John heard the adoration, the worship of the 24 elders. And who was the object of their worship? The object of their worship was him that sat on the throne, the eternal, ever living Son of God. Look at their acts of adoration. First, they fell down before him. And then with profound Humility, reverence, and godly fear, they cast their crowns before the throne. These were crowns that they had received for their accomplishments while on earth. <laughs> So in casting their crowns before his throne, they gave God all the glory for whatever they had accomplished on earth. They admitted that all they had and all they were, they owed to Him. And with more words of adoration, they said, Worthy art Thou, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. See too in verse 11, we're given the reason for their worship. See, they said, You created all things. So, first of all, He's the creator of all things. No one but the creator of all things should ever be worshipped. 
すべてのもの、万物を作られた創造主以外を礼拝すべきではありません。Second, he's the preserver of all things. 第二に、主はすべてのものを支えておられるお方だからです。Verse 11 says, because of thy will, they existed. 十一節はこう言っております。御心によって万物は存在し、また創造されたからです。These then are sufficient reasons for the worship of Christ. He's one with the Father and the Spirit, and he must be worshipped as such. Colossians 1, speaking of Christ, says this. コロサイ1章16節17節でキリストについてこう書いてあります。All things were created by him, that is Christ, and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. 万物は御子キリストによって、御子のために作られました。御子はすべてのものよりも先におられ、すべてのものは御子によって支えられています。Having these pictures of worship from Isaiah and Revelation, let's return to Isaiah 6 5 and see what effect this vision of worship had on the prophet Isaiah. このように荘厳な礼拝のビジョンを見た預言者イザヤがどのようにそれによって影響されたかを見ていきましょう。イザヤ自身の言葉をお聞きください。Then I, that is Isaiah, said, Woe is me, I am ruined. 私イザヤは言った。災いだ。私は滅ぼされる。イザヤ、at this point, he felt like he was falling apart. イザヤは自分がバラバラに滅ぼされるのを感じていたのです。そして、ああ、私は自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が自分が汚れた唇の民の中に住むものしかも私の目は王なる万軍の主を仰ぎ見たお分かりでしょう。When God, it, イザヤが神の玉座を見その周りで捧げられている天使たちによる礼拝の様子を見た時。突然イザヤは自分自身の現実の状況、罪人としての現実に目が開かれたのです。And Isaiah felt very inadequate, very inferior. イザヤはいかに自分が至らぬものをちっぽけな存在であるかを思い知ったのです。Now remember what I said about that church at the beginning of the message? ではイザヤの言葉と冒頭のレポートが書いた報告書と比べてみてください。How does Isaiah's position here compare with the writings of the reporter who wrote the story about the church he visited? あのレポーターが、えー、訪問して観察したあの人たちの報告書とイザヤの言葉と比べてみてください。Did he observe the people of that church admitting to their own insignificance in front of a holy God? No, they saw themselves as a people that could tell God of the things that they had accomplished. 違いますね自分たちが成し遂げたどんな偉い話を神様にお話しできる存在であるかと考えていたのです。そんな人間の自慢話を聞いて神様が関心なさると思われますか you see, as we come to worship, we need to see God as Isaiah and John saw him. お分かりでしょう。私たちは礼拝するとき、イザヤや
ヨハネが神様を見たように神様を見る必要があるのです。In our minds, we need to see him on the throne with angels constantly bowing before him and singing his praises. 私たちは心の中で玉座に座しておられるキリストその見舞いでひれ伏し賛美の歌を捧げ続ける天使たちを思い描く必要があるのです years,私はあの今までいろんな教会に行きましたある教会では人々は歌ったり踊ったりいろんなことをしておりました I heard one song leader after he had led people <laughs> in getting them more and more in, 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 into a frenzy when he said, Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Was Isaiah having fun? Isaiah saw himself as insignificant before Almighty God. You know, the root word, the root of the word worship means to bow down. It's not stand up and wave your arms. It's bow down. How low should you bow down? This is how low you should bow down before God. When your forehead is on the ground, 地面につけるほど低くする必要があります。That's the picture of worship. それが礼拝の光景の描写です。So back in our minds, we need to see him on the throne with angels constantly bowing before him, singing his praises. 私たちは心の中で玉座に座しておられるキリスト、その見前でひれ伏し賛美の歌を捧げ続ける天使たちを思い描く必要があります。Angels crying out, Holy, 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 and He alone is worthy. 天使たちは互いに呼び交わしております。聖なるかな、聖なるかな、聖なるかな、主のみが礼拝を受けるにふさわしいお方。When we see that picture, then perhaps we'll see ourselves undone. And in need of him, as Isaiah did. Worthy art thou, our God and our Lord. 栄光を受けるにふさわしいお方、主よ、私たちの神よ。Worthy to receive glory and honor and power。あなたこそ栄光と誉れと力とを受けるにふさわしい方。Worthy。ふさわしいお方。Father, thank you for this time together. Help us, Lord. We want to see you as Isaiah saw you. Help us to do that, Lord. Help us to lay aside everything else that would blind us. Help us to see the vision in our minds that Isaiah saw of you on the throne, our awesome God. We pray it in your Son's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.